In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the WP Bakery page builder text block element to add text to a page. It's a super simple element, but I'm going to show you all the possibilities with it, all the options you have when you put it on the page. This is part of the WP Bakery page builder playlist. There's a link to that in the description down below and on the card above. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, and you like WordPress tutorials and tips and tricks, click the subscribe button, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, if you like deals, check out the half off hosting deal I negotiated for you with Inmotion Hosting. Nearly every plan is half off, some are less, but every plan has a discount that you could use for yourself or for your clients or whatever. Feel free to go check that out in the link down below or the card that popped up. And with that out of the way, let's head to this tutorial. The text block is the most basic element in WP Bakery page builder. It's also the most used because most pages have a lot of text on them. Unless it's a photography website or a portfolio website, you're going to have some text on the page, meaning you're going to have text blocks. To add them, open up any page that you're working on or add a new one. I'm going to click on add new to add a new page. I'm going to call the page text blocks. I'm going to click on save draft. Then I'll click on front end editor because it's very nice to work in the front end. Here we have our working area for the page builder. This only appears when you don't have any elements in any rows on the page so far. And like I said, the add text block or the text block element is so popular, it has its own button right at the very beginning. If you click on add element, it has all the elements here. There's a text block, my default text block, and my text block, which are three different variations of the text block. But it's so popular, it has an option right here. So I'm going to click on that. It's going to open up the settings. It's going to add a row because everything in WP Bakery Page Builder is built on rows. Inside that row, it has now added this text block right here, and we can edit it over here. So we're going to change the text here to this is my text. Now when I click on Save Changes, it's going to update that in the actual page. Let's try that again. Saved. There it is. Must have not pushed that button. So now it says this is my text in the page. All the changes we make in this settings area are not applied to the page until you click Save Changes. And what's nice is you can see them how to look live on the page. That's why the front end editor is so handy because you can basically see the page while you're editing it and exactly how it'll look, which makes your development a lot faster. You can choose a CSS animation, which will be used for the element as it comes onto the page or as the page loads. If the element is down lower on the page, the animation will happen as the user scrolls down to where that element is. So if we choose fade in down big, we're going to see what that CSS animation looks like in this little animate button on the right hand side. So let's choose that one, watch the button, and that's what it looks like. So you can select through these or you can click through these and see what it looks like before you actually save changes and apply it to the element. Element ID and extra class allow you to add more selectors for your CSS. You likely never use those unless you're advanced CSS. You have the option to add an element ID and an extra class name to allow for more CSS styling, more CSS selectors on your element. I'm just going to leave this as is, click on save changes, and then the page is going to reload. It's going to roll in from the side. It just rolled in. You probably missed it if you blinked. You'll see more of that in just a second when we add design options. You'll be able to see the fade in or the roll in happening. The editor inside here is just like a regular editor on any WordPress poster page. There's a visual tab and a text tab, unless you have them disabled on the user record. And they have all the same options. In fact, a couple more options. And if you have add-ons or plugins on your WordPress site that extend the functionality of the editor, those extensions will appear in here as well, which is pretty handy. On the design tab, this tab is the same for pretty much all WP Bakery page builder elements. We have our CSS box to add margins, border, and on all sides individually, or you can click on simplify controls and just add one value that's going to be applied to all sides automatically. We can add a border. I'm going to add a ridge border, give it a border radius of 15. I'm going to add a background image so we can see all the features of the text box. I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose this one right here. Click on the image, then click on set image. As you can see, none of these changes are actually happening on the page. They don't happen until I click save changes. I'm going to click on cover so it spans the whole area. 
I'm going to simplify controls. I'm going to add a little bit of padding. Actually, I'm not going to add padding right now. I'm going to show you what happens when you don't. After setting all that, I'm going to click on Save Changes. And now the background images or the background image is just going to be the size of our text. So it's just a little bit taller than our text. Doesn't look that great unless that's the look you're going for. If we add padding, let's just add 50 pixels on all sides, we're going to see much more of the image. You actually only have to add 50 pixels on top and bottom, but I have simplified controls on right now. So now we have more of the image visible, which makes it look a lot cooler. And as you saw, when we made that change, we saw how the fade in works, how it goes from one side to the other. Let's do that one more time. Watch how the, the background image kind of rolls in from the side. So that's the animation that we chose. You can go and choose different ones. Just go into general, choosing a different animation. But what I'm going to do now is my text is not very visible, so I'm going to make it a little more visible. I'm going to change the text from paragraph style to a heading style. I'm going to change it from gray to white. And I'm going to make it bold. Click on Save Changes again. And now my text should be much more visible. And unfortunately, WP Bakery Page Builder does not have a way to set the image size specifically inside the editor. There's no way to just say, I want my text to be 20 pixels or 25 pixels or 3M or 2REM or 5 points. No way to do that, unfortunately. If you need to set a specific size for the text, you need to use CSS. So click on Save Changes one more time, and I close this. If you click on this little gear right here, we can add CSS specifically to that page. We have to use the selectors to find what this headline text is, whatever this text is that you're using, and then define the font size via CSS, which to me is a drawback of this plugin. Other plugins allow you to set the CSS width specifically just using uh, the field where you enter the size, which is a lot easier for a lot of people. I don't mind doing the CSS way, but it's, it's just an extra step. I mean, why, why force us to do that? Anyway, that's about all there is to our text block. As you may or may not know, WP Bakery Page Builder is a paid for plugin that you buy from Code Canyon. You may have received it built into a theme, so you may already own it. If that's the case, I have a course that you might be interested in. It is a complete WP Bakery Page Builder course that shows you how to use all the elements and create awesome pages with it. I can give that to you at a steep discount because you already have this plugin. Just email me at bjorn at wplearninglab.com and let me know and I'll send out a coupon code to you. If you do not have this plugin yet, but you want that course, if you buy the plugin through my affiliate link, which is in the description down below, you can have the course for free. And buying it through that link does not make it more expensive for you. It's just that Invato and WP Bakery, they give me a portion of their sale. So it's no extra cost to you. They just give me a portion of their sale. And in return for doing that, I will give you the course for free. All you have to do is click on the link in the description down below. Make sure you open it in incognito mode or in a different browser or after you clear your cash and cookies. Otherwise, my account may not be credited and then I, I can't tell if you bought it or not. Uh, but when you do buy it, you will get a receipt. Forward that receipt to me at bjorn at wplearninglab.com and then I'll cross-reference your receipt with what is listed as referrals on my account, what's been credited to me as referrals. And if they match up, I will send you free access to that course that you can begin accessing immediately. That's how easy it is. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss anything. Check out the half off for hosting deal in the description down below and possibly in the card that popped up if I had any remaining cards. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. Until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.